Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day so far today. So today we're going to be looking at a uh, deleted gameplay, which just surfaced the internet a couple days ago, and it's kind of grown like wildfire. It's already, you know, 356,000 views uh, on this very small channel, which is The Vault. If you don't know about 1313, it's a canceled game that was pretty much nearly ready to launch. And this was while George Lucas was still uh, owning Lucasfilm and Disney scrapped it in my opinion because it didn't fit their story their narrative of you know continuing Star Wars and what they wanted to do which was the sequel trilogy and so on and so forth and perhaps other avenues that they wanted to cover for the underworlds of Coruscant should they ever want to you know touch that part of Star Wars now George Lucas also had a show that he wanted to create much like the Mandalorian is now but a show that was essentially focused on the Underworld of Coruscant, the scum, the villainy, a younger Boba Fett, a uh, Palpatine. Apparently, there's you know uh, stories about how Palpatine turned to the dark side. You know that he was in love with a woman and he had a bad breakup, and that's what really like threw him into the dark side even more. I'm not sure if that's legitimate. That was just uh, a article that was posted from someone who supposedly had work on the project or, or had worked on the project to be. Now, this game was canned by Disney, and uh, it's really unfortunate because I feel like it would have been a really amazing game. I hope that they do release it because I'm sure that it is still there, and it's probably not going to take very long to actually finish the whole thing if it isn't already. Now, that being said, let's go ahead and watch the actual um, unseen footage of the Boba Fett gameplay. I didn't even know that Boba Fett was really going to be that prominent in this game, but the fact that you can play him is pretty freaking sweet. So let's go ahead and watch this. And then we can, uh, we can react. Interesting how shiny his helmet is. that man feels like episode two oh my god it's it's not even near done and it looks amazing There's like icons on the lower right and my, my camera's blocking it, but you can see, and maybe I'll just put it right there. There. Damn, dude, that's really unfortunate that we didn't get this game. I feel like it would have been a very, very good game. And, you know, as good as Fallen Order was, this could have covered a different aspect of Star Wars. And, you know, something when the Book of Boba Fett was announced, I was really excited for two reasons. Obviously, it's Boba Fett. But the second reason was because I'm kind of happy that they're, they're sort of focusing on the darker characters or the more villainous characters. Now, of course, with the Book of Boba Fett, I feel like they've changed a lot of that. And they're not as, they're not focusing as much as... Uh, making him like a villainous character. They're kind of just making him uh, a little more likable and soft and 
lovable, not like the Boba Fett that we all knew. You know, the epitome of Boba Fett for me is kind of like when we saw the thermal detonator being detonated, like just about to go off, like all of a sudden, hair trigger reaction, Boba's just like, got his E3 blaster just ready to go. And that for me was always a really badass scene. Like Boba's always on the ready, no matter what he's doing. He was like flirting with the girls there. He's just ready to go. And I'm, I'm, I love Tamora Morrison. I love the Boba Fett show, but I'm just not really getting that vibe yet. And I feel like it's character development. I feel like, you know, the Tus Tusken Raiders are kind of, um, they made him stronger in a way by making him a little more um, perhaps easygoing or softer or something until it's really time to just go crazy, which I'm hoping that's what it is. Like it's like the calm before the storm. But that being said, a game that would have focused on Boba, or at least you can play some side missions or, um, you know, a part of the game as him would be pretty sweet. And assuming that was Boba, which I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, he had the antenna, he had everything. So, um, and the color scheme was pretty on par. The game wasn't even finished. I mean, that was just a very unfinished version of the game that we saw. You know, I imagine that Coruscant would have been, you know, probably lit up with like a sort of dusk sky horizon or at night and everything would have been really nice and polished and sweet. But the sounds, the music already, it was everything, the ambiance of Coruscant, it's it's a very like industrial sort of cyberpunk y vibe to Coruscant, especially the underworld. And I would have loved to have played in that and seen that. So I'm hoping that you know, Disney, if you guys do listen to the fans ever, I would hope that you would bring this game back, you know, just like you did with Star Wars Visions. It doesn't have to be canon, you know, uh, you can just create it as a as an off story or something like that. I'm sure we would love it. I'm sure we would eat it up and, you know, buy the game and, uh, you know, hopefully you'd sell millions. So, uh, dude, this is a big surprise to me. I hope that they make something like this or they at least release the game or maybe, you know, just release it as like a... Um, May the 4th surprise or, I don't know, like a demo or something like that. And, uh, yeah, so, anyways, that's this. It's very unfortunate that they canned the game, but I understand that they want to create their own stories and such and um, whatever. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go check out the original video yourselves at uh, The Vault. Just type in Star Wars 1313 Boba Fett. That's what I did, and um, I found it. So it was pretty cool, pretty sweet to see. Have a great day. Love you all, catch you later, and may the force be with you.